Hello everybody, JC Morgan, CEO, tells wealthy clients there's a chance US is heading into something worse than a recession. So the JP Morgan CEO told a group of wealthy investors, right, the big guys, guys, the guys that have the most amount of money in the market, the richest of the rich, that there's 20 to 30% chance that we have something worse than a harder recession. So that's kind of crazy. Now remember, in June, he called for a hurricane warning now, he called current risk storm clouds, an apparent downgrade from his June hurricane warning. So it seems like he doesn't know what exactly is going to happen, right? It's like the whole economy, nobody kind of knows because this is so new. This whole inflation thing is really kind of turning everything upside down and everyone kind of has their thoughts and everyone's kind of saying, well, maybe it's going to be bad. Maybe it's not going to be so bad. They just don't know. But one thing we do know is that we printed a lot of money really, really fast. And with the you know record low interest rates, it definitely allowed for many, many in industries, especially the housing market, to create a huge, huge bubble. Now, with the great reset, uh, the great resignation, I'm sorry, it, it basically everyone quit. And now for companies to bring employees back to work, it has to it's been costing them a lot more. I'm talking like people working at McDonald's making, you know, $20 an hour because the McDonald's location just couldn't hire anybody for the minimum wage job, right? It's happening across every industry. People are saying, I am not going to come to work unless you're not, you, you know, unless you pay me more. So basically now with an economy that is costing more that, you know, it's costing more to, to pay their wages, it's definitely keeping inflation higher. Now you would think that they're going to spend more, but with everything becoming more expensive, right? Because, you know, with rent being so expensive, with, with home prices being so expensive, now with raising interest rates being so, so high and with, um, with employment being so high, everything is high, everything is staying high. Now here is the comment from back in June. I'm going to change the storm clouds out there. Look, I am an optimist. I said there are storm clouds. There are big storm clouds. It's a hurricane and you better brace yourself. Uh, JP Morgan is bracing ourselves and we're going to be very conservative with our balance sheets. So basically, you know, this is something that he said back in June. Now it's August. Now he's saying, well, it might not be that bad. Well, let me tell you, it's pretty bad to me from everything that I'm looking on the ground. Look, if we look at the chances here, let me highlight this. The chances of a soft landing are 10%. The chances of a harder landing are 20 to 30%. The chances of a harder recession are 20 to 30%. And the chances of something worse than a harder recession are 20 to 30%. So the chances of a soft landing are basically out of the question, that being 10%. And now, you know, uh, having a hard landing, a, you know, harder recession and something worse, all being basically equal to 30% makes things, you know, it kind of scares me a little bit, but that is, you know, the fact that there's so much uncertainty of where the market is going also kind of makes me a little bit scared of what's happening. One thing I know is that we're in a housing bubble. The housing went up way too fast and way too high and it's gonna bound to come down. This could trigger a huge crash. But the problem is that we have inflation. Everything is more expensive. So in order to bring down inflation, we need basically to suck money out of the economy and in the process, it will shrink the economy and it could crash the economy. What does that mean is that basically that McDonald's that hired somebody for 20 bucks, they would basically have to fire all their employees and bring them back in for you know $15 an hour to kind of do that reset. Well, what do you think that's gonna to do to the US as a whole? And what do you think it's gonna to do to this housing prices being as high as they are? Well, I definitely see it's gonna probably cause them to crash down. And in my view, they're probably gonna crash down pretty hard, definitely to 2019, maybe even below 2019 levels. Is it gonna happen overnight? No, again, inflation is keeping everything high right now. So I don't know when it's gonna happen, but definitely in the next year or two, we are going to see some drastic changes to the prices of housing. We're just gonna have to monitor it. Now, I wanna say, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video, but you know, as a whole guys, everyone who's been watching my videos, I wanna say thank you so much. It really does mean a lot to me. And thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the likes. Again, thank you so much. Now, if you're new to my channel and you like what I have to say, if you enjoy my videos, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button and go ahead and like and leave a comment. 
Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.